Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm memory planning for the week of December 2nd through the 8th and this will be the first Christmas spread and I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping I can kind of get these out really quickly so I can be more caught up in the new year and um, I apologize for my voice. I am a little bit sick um, which is why I haven't uploaded my last video. I've been waiting until I feel a little bit better before I record the voiceover just so I don't sound horrible. Um, but anyways, I'll try to make this intro nice and short. Also, please ignore this little ink blob. Um, I did drip some ink um, onto my planner, so I'm just going to white it out when I get there. And for this week, the kit that I have is from Sweet Ava's Paper, and I think it's so adorable for a Christmas kit, so I wanted to start off the season with this kit. Um, it has a lot of these adorable animals, and here we have the full boxes. We've got all the half boxes, quarter boxes, um, build do stickers, and sidebar trackers. We have half boxes, washi strips, the bottom washi, and then let's see the next page if I can get it out oh I think this is all one page it's just really thick okay this last page has heart check flags we've got a Monday through Sunday box some little things and all of these um, I think they're just like regular boxes in different shapes um, so lots of functional stickers to work with which is awesome I tend to use tons of those in my planning so um, yeah let's go ahead and get started by placing down the bottom washi and I will explain everything as we go along I'm not sure when this video will be uploaded, but I am recording this voiceover on New Year's Day, so I just want to take a moment to wish you all a wonderful new year and new decade. Um, I hope you guys all find whatever it is that you are searching for in your lives this year, and um, yeah, just wishing you all the best. Um, moving to my spread, for this week I decided to pull in this little snowman washi that is from Scotch Expressions. I purchased that probably two or three years ago, and I just never had a chance to use it, so I figured this would be the perfect spread to pull it in because it is very very cutesy. So I go ahead and cut down the bottom washi so that I could fit the snowman washi along with it and then I go ahead and move to my sidebar. For my sidebar, I first place down a full box at the very top, and then I go ahead and use a glitter header from Mandy Dreams. All of the glitter headers I'm using this week will be from her shop. I place down a habit tracker to track my working out, and then I used a strip of washi with the heart checklist to mark my happy moments of the week. I love that her heart checklist do come with seven hearts, so it's perfect for using one each day of the week. And then I used another strip of washi with the Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. I had a bit of space left at the bottom, so I go ahead and use another strip of the snowman washi, and then I pulled in these little deco pieces. Those are from Clever Gal Crafts. I got them as a sampler um, a few years ago, and they're all Christmas themed, so I decided to choose a couple pieces for my sidebar headers before moving to Monday. On Monday, I started by placing down a glitter header with a scalloped quarter box, and Monday was the first day back to work after Thanksgiving break, and it was super rough. It was like the Mondayest of Mondays. Um, I forgot to set my alarm clock, and I forgot my laptop, so it was just a rough start to the week. Um, I cut out this little mochi from Mochi Kichi to mark that. It's got like a paper bag over its head, which is pretty much how I felt, and then I used a half box with this glasses sticker from Laban Forest to mark that I had an observation to do, and and I go ahead and write the time into the lenses of the glasses. I then used a quarter box with this Coffee Monsters Co. coffee sticker. Um, I love those little holiday ones with the red cups. It's so cute. Um, to mark that, I went and grabbed some coffee. And then I put down a full box underneath that. After work on Monday, I went and grabbed dinner with a friend, so I put that on a quarter box, and that rice bowl sticker is from Paper and Milk. We went to Payway, which is like one of my favorite fast food Asian restaurants, and then at the very bottom, I did check my P.O. box before going home, so I cut up a flag using a strip of washi from the kit and also pulled in this munchkin from Once More With Love. On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the top, and oh my goodness, that little hedgehog is so adorable. Um, I then used a quarter box with this cat sticker from Once More With Love to mark that Pokey had thrown up in the morning. Um, I did take some time to monitor her, and she seemed to be doing fine. She was still super energetic and hungry, and so um, I'm pretty sure she's okay. Um, then I used an IEP sticker from Happy Daya Stickers to mark an IEP meeting that I had that morning, and then we had our usual staff meeting at one o'clock, so I put that on a quarter box, and the bow paperclip sticker is from Sticky Fingers Co. I then used a glitter header with this three heart checklist to um, jot down all the things that I did later that day. Um, I did wash some dishes, so I used this dishes sticker and I found that in my leftovers collection, so I don't quite know which shop that's from. 
At the end of the night, my boyfriend and I binged Atypical, which is one of our favorite shows on Netflix. Um, so I used a quarter box with a TV icon from the Sparkly Studio to mark that. And here's where I go ahead and white out that little ink blob on Wednesday and place down a full box at the very bottom. Moving back to the top of Wednesday, I started by putting down a quarter box with this pencil sticker that is from Nikki Plus 3, and I use that to mark a testing appointment I had that morning. Um, then I used an IEP sticker again from Happy Dia Stickers to mark an IEP that I had, and then I used a quarter box with this annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that our internet at work went down, and I feel like it's been happening quite a bit. I don't know if it's because we had gotten some rain or something, but it's just really annoying when the internet's not working because so much of what we do like requires the internet. Um, but anyways, I actually did a workout that day when I got home. It's probably been like, I don't know, two months since I worked out. So this was a huge deal. I put that on a half box and that workout girl sticker is from Thule Plans. Underneath that, I pulled in a quarter box and then I decided I didn't have quite enough space in the remaining area to mark something I wanted. So I go ahead and shift everything up just a little bit so that I could make some more space. I used another TV sticker from the Sparkly Studio to mark that we watched more Atypical that night. And then um, on the quarter box, I put down this little airplane sticker. That's from a shop that has not been opened in quite some time. And I used that to mark that I booked my flights for an upcoming trip in February. Moving to Thursday, first I put down a glitter header with a quarter box. I used another bow paper clip sticker that is from Sticky Fingers Co. And um, I used that to mark an observation I had to do off campus on Thursday. And on the way back to school, I decided to pick up some lunch at Panda Express. So I used this um, takeout sticker that is from Plants with Vanessa. I then put down this full box that does have quite a bit of empty space on the inside, so I used that to mark some meetings that I had on Thursday. The meeting script sticker, I believe, is from Nightingale Paper Co., and then the laptop emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co., and I did have an IEP that afternoon, and instead of pulling in an IEP sticker, I just decided to write it on the full box myself. Underneath that, I used a quarter box with this defeated looking girl from Artbox stickers. Um, I used that to mark that I got home late that day, which just always makes me so exhausted. And then my boyfriend and I decided to get some pizza for dinner that night. Um, the pizza sticker I used is from Plans with Vanessa. At the end of the night, we ended up getting into a fight about something that was so stupid. Um, I can barely even remember what it was about because it was so dumb, but I think because I had gotten home late and it was like a long day, I was just feeling really cranky and it was just one of those times where something small like ends up turning into this huge deal. Um, but anyways, I just used this angry egg sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we had that stupid fight. And then on Friday, I started by placing down a full box at the top. I then used a quarter box with another coffee sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I got my Friday coffee, which is so exciting. And then on Friday, I did have a staff meeting in the morning. So I used a half box with another meeting sticker from Nightingale Paper Co. And I don't really know where this laptop is from. I think I pulled that one out of my leftovers collection. That afternoon, I had another meeting, so I cut up this flag using a washi strip from the kit again to mark that meeting, and then I put down a glitter header with a quarter box and this rainy sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio to mark that it was a rainy day um, on that Friday, and then at the very bottom, I put down a three heart checklist to mark some things I did that night, but because it was so crowded, I decided to cut up a little bit of the full box, and then I went ahead and shifted everything up just a little bit so that um, I had a little more space there at the bottom. For the weekend, this kit did not come with a weekend banner, so I decided to create one on my own. I used the leftover bottom washi that I had cut up, and I just wrote weekend using my brush lettering pen, and that one is my Tombow Fudenosuke. Um, I cut it up to the width of the boxes, and I just placed it right there at the top. The cutting tool that I'm using is called, I think it's Slice Precision Cutter, and I just got it off of Amazon, so um, that's where you can find it. And anyways, then for Saturday, I first put down a full box at the bottom, and moving back to the top, I used another scallop label from the kit with this sleepy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had a lazy day on Saturday. And then I decided to place down some boxes so I knew how much space I had to mark everything. Um, at the end of the night, we did grab some beers with friends, so I used a half box with the beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that. And then before that, we went to my boyfriend's work holiday party. Um, so I found this adorable Christmas tree sticker also from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. It was like a little sampler that she had given out, I think a couple years ago. And um, I did have some space remaining. So I used a three heart checklist to mark some things I did before the holiday party. 
One of the things I put on the checklist is getting ready. So I pulled in this uh, makeup sticker that's from Chasing Chels, and then I go ahead and fill out the text for the rest of the day. Similar to Friday, I felt like things were looking a bit crowded on Saturday as well. So I go ahead and trim down the full box and then I realized that I forgot to pull in a glitter header on this day. So I cut it down a little bit more and then added that red glitter header on top of the half box. For Sunday, I first started by placing down a glitter header at the top. I put down a half box and then I used this full box with a fox underneath, which is probably one of my favorites. Um, I think for Sunday, I decided to place down all the functional stickers first and then go ahead and fill everything in at once. I think this is something that Mandy from Mandy Dreams often does because you kind of have to flip the entire planner over um, to make it easier to write. And so um, I just kind of took a leaf out of her book and decided to try that out. Um, on the half box, I put down the sleeping mask sticker from Planning Like a pro to mark that I had another lazy day on Sunday. Um, this was definitely quite a lazy weekend, which is perfect because it's been like really cold. So I love just like being cozy on the couch at home. And then on the heart checklist, I just wrote down some things that we did that day and um, we did grab boba. So I used that boba sticker from Plans with Vanessa. And then at the very bottom on the quarter box, I put down a TV sticker from Brandy's shop to mark that we watched the show called Magic for Humans on Netflix. That concludes my week, so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar and track all my workouts, which I did one workout this week, yay, and all my happy moments and dinners. I quickly show you guys the stickers that I have left in this kit, which as always will be included in a Leftoverse giveaway when that time comes around. Um, and yeah, I intentionally chose not to pull in any foils for this spread, um, just because it's so cute and adorable, I just wanted to keep it like pretty cutesy. So a lot of the icons I pulled in were also more cutesy in nature. I hope you guys enjoyed this, the first of my Christmas spreads. Please let me know if you have any questions, if I forgot to mention anything. And yeah, that is it for this week. So happy new year to everyone. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.